if your hotel device is out of subscription you don't have an active subscription and you're out of warranty and you haven't backed up your device right now alarm bells should be going off hi viewers today i'm going to be showing you how to back up your hotel device this is going to cover any hotel device so it's not limited to the hotel maxi pro whether it's a maxicom that you have or a maxisys the steps are essentially the same now let's get this if your hotel subscription is almost expiring and you haven't backed up your device this is something i would strongly recommend you will need it in case of data loss or if your device gets corrupt and you need to do a factory reset if you don't have a backup then the only way of getting your apps back is by paying the annual subscription which some people may not plan to pay incidentally my subscription is expiring soon and as you can see from here it expires next week so for the hotel maxi pro maxicom mk808 maxi check their max storage capacity is 32 gigabytes so you would need a 32 gigabyte micro sd card if you use the higher end tools like the mk908p then you're going to need a higher capacity memory card some of them go as high as up to 128 gigabytes uh, I think the Maxisys Ultra goes up to 256, I think. So a 64 gig memory card will not work in this. So you have to get the 32 gigabyte. This is a process that takes a long time. Could run into maybe a few hours. So you may want to ensure that your tablet is charged and also plug it in. So to get started, you put your SD card in. Just to say that before you start the process, you want to go into the updates, make sure you've downloaded all the updates that you need. I have 27 pending updates, but these are mostly vehicles that I would never work on. And the next thing you want to do is to click this home button, select ES File Explorer, and then you're looking for this scan folder. And just to show you the size of this folder, if I select and click properties, as you can see, the size of the file is 20 gigabytes plus. So that's the reason why it takes some time. So and it's simple, we've selected the scan folder. Right now, if you look on the left, you're going to see internal SD. That's the internal SD card. That's not where you're going to put it. You're going to put it in the external SD, SD card that we just put. We we'll just click copy here. So we've copied that. We go to the external card and we paste. Apply it to all. So, and it starts overwriting. And the way you restore it, there's no special process to it. So, we'll hide this. So if I go back to internal SD, so you're just going to copy the new file, to replace this one. That way, all the updates that you've done would be restored as against having the barebone apps that come with the device out of the box. Just for extra insurance, you may want to have a backup of this backup. So maybe you copy the SD card and dump it in your external hard drive just so you have two records of it in case one gets corrupt. When you're done, remove the SD card and put it in a safe place. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this was helpful, do give the video a like, really helps and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Cheers.